What we want to understand is the neural code. We want to know how the brain is representing the external world. For the past seven years, scientists at the Allen Institute have put in a systematic effort in exploring different types of intersectional strategies and establish standardized transgenic mouse platforms to make it easier to deliver molecular probes and tools uh, into different cell types in a much more flexible way and that can be applied to many different neuronal and non-neuronal cell types in the brain. Being able to image cells and see not only their locations in space relative to each other, but also the activity patterns that they generate at the same time will allow us to deduce what these representations are. The Cree recombinase system has been the most widely used technique in mammals to create this kind of cell type specific control. However, many current Cree lines still have limitations. So a genetic intersectional strategy can be used by, for example, using the gene one promoter to drive a Cree driver one and a gene two promoter that drives another recombinase such as a FLIP to create a FLIP driver two. And then a double reporter that's dependent on both Cree and FLIP um, that then can turn on a fluorescent label or a tool only in the cells that have both CRE and FLIP expressed. So one of the advantages of using these transgenic mice is that we can monitor hundreds of cells at the same time and the quality of the cells, the quality of the fluorescence and the imaging is fairly consistent over long periods of time. Overall, we have reported 21 new transgenic mouse lines and associated 10 new adeno-associated viral vectors for the three different types of intersectional strategies that will allow not only better cell type specific control, but also express different kinds of molecular tools at levels that will greatly enhance our ability to detect neuronal activities in behaving animals, as well as to augment the activities to probe the cause-effect relationship. This will open the door for many different new ways to study the brain function.